This is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about a new, some new enhancements for SolidWorks 2017 that have to do with offset surfaces and the wrap command. We've had the wrap command for a long time. One of the problems we've had with the wrap was that it would only work with cones or cylinders. That has changed. We'll get to that in a minute. First thing I want to talk about though is the new offset surface. There's a new command that's offset on surface. It's called the icons here. I've got it up on my toolbar. You can put that up there also. And I want to look at this from the top view. If I turn this on, it automatically opens a 3D sketch for me. And I can just pick this edge and give this some uh, more offset than one. Oh, there's 10. Perfect. So now we've got an offset from that edge. If I continue to pick edges, it automatically trims them to do what I want it to do. I don't want to do that one. I want to do this one. And I want a 20 millimeter offset on that whole surface. Offset on surface, click that face, and let's make that 20. Enter once, and look at there. Automatically made that thing offset all the way around nice and neat and clean. Now, I can use this to make a cut with. If you use things like projected curve, then you've got to con you could project the curve, then you've got to convert it to a 3D sketch, you know, multiple extra steps. So, what I want to do is I want to go to features and I want to do a cut and it wants a vector or a direction. Well, we'll pick the top plane and use that and we'll cut through all both directions. Okay. Perfect. Now if we look at this, there we go, look down on it from the top, you notice how nice and neat this is all the way around. Now, it's not that we can't do this with a projected sketch from a, from a 2D plane, but it's different. It's not the same. This new offset from surface is just really slick and nice. Well, I'm going to just suppress that for a moment, and I've already got some text here on a plane and this is plane 7 and I'm going to go normal to that plane and look at my text. What I want to do is I want to wrap this Go Engineer text on this surface, this surface, and this surface. That's been a real major problem before. We could do an offset from surface previously. If I had the text on the inside, I could tell it to start at the inside face and offset the text up from the top face and make this work. N wasn't necessarily what you wanted because it wouldn't be normal to the face where uh, the letters were. It would be it would be normal to the plane that the uh, sketch was on. So it was not exactly right and didn't work very well. You got you got some results, but it wasn't the best. So now with this new feature, when I go to the wrap command, which I got up here on my toolbar, we've got a new icon here, spline surface rather than just wrap. As I mentioned before, previously it was cones or cylinders only. Now watch. I'm going to select this face, I'm going to select that face, and I'm going to select that face. Note the preview. I want this to be an emboss. Do the same thing, emboss, deboss, or scribe. And I want this to be 5 and say OK. I can also turn on Instant 3D and pick that sketch and actually edit this sketch right here on the fly with Instant 3D. Make it bigger, make it smaller, whatever I want to do here with Instant 3D. So this feature, I should say, is much, much better, much more robust, does a great job, and lets us put things on wild, swirly, curvy shapes that we could not before. Thank you very much. Guy Delosier, Go Engineer, Senior Applications Engineer. Have a great day.